Hello again, and in this lecture, you are going to know how to view any shadow. Now we have created the shadow from scratch. So what might go wrong and what might go missing? Personally, I believe that the schedule, the two main things that you should always check on any schedule that you are going to submit or that, that, or that you are even reviewing a schedule that submitted to you. What do you think these two are? For me, I think the first thing is to check that the old scope is covered. How to check so? To check though can be combined by using drawings, which is most probably even the FedEx contract or even in most probably most of the contracts, the drawings supersede the BOQ if there is differences, then the BOQ. So to check that the old scope is covered, you have to double check the activities here with the BOQ and with the drawings. Now the first step is done. You are, you are clear that all the scope is in the schedule and they covered in a way, just as a, even an activity list. The second most important thing is to check about any mandatory relationship is covered by meaning you cannot pour the concrete slab without installing the columns first. So you should make sure that the mandatory, mandatory relationship is truly covered and it's achievable, especially mandatory. The soft relationship, you should understand why you made it and you should note it down somewhere and say that you or, and the assumption that you have made or review or ask the contractor or whoever submitted the schedule for you ask him or her to submit you the assumptions that he or she did while doing the shadow. Now, if things are clear, everything else is easy. You might miss some items, but when you check the schedule log as well, as you know by here, checking the view log, this will cover some other activities like the dangling activities, the activities without accessor and making sure each and everything is going right. I usually also prefer to check what these are like complementary, but the main two items is to check all scopes covered and when that relationship is done. Then we are talking about the soft relationships and now we are talking as well as the high total float. The high total float usually means something is not right. You can either shift it or you can keep it or just double check that the relationship are right and everything is going on sequence because this might indicate that the relationship is not going right. Always also make sure that the pre-qualification and the equipment is coming in the right time. It's not going to come and be stored for a long time. It might lose its insurance. It might need more care. It might cost even more in the store. Just make sure it comes on the right time and have a float for it. And this lecture, as I said before in the previous lecture, it is a research lecture. Why it's a research lecture? I love to name it like this. I'm going to give you the chance to research. So what to research exactly while checking the schedule? There's a lot of, and a lot of references. I'll give you only one. It's DCMA14. Just Google it, find any resources. You'll know what to check more as well. But personally, if you covered the relationships and the scope and it seems reasonable. And one more thing that we almost forgotten here is to check the resource uses profile. Make sure either it's cash flow if you're a contractor that your management approves that there is a negative cash flow for some point, the cash in, cash out, cash in is not shown here. That the negative cash flow is achievable and your management agree on it that in one given month this and as a client you should always check that at one given month that you're going to get an interim valuation of 109 are you able to pay 109 per month or you don't have the budget for a thing just way you're going to ask the contractor to distribute this 109 on other activities and give a maximum here but this might affect and the contractor might claim for extension of time Always check that you can bring the labor, if these are the labor, that you're going to bring 
the assigned labor as shown in the curve. You can bring them. And always make sure that there is no higher and far and make it as reasonable as, po as possible. For me, these items are the major items when you check them. Check other the websites and other items. Check and read about it. And you'll find more and more even to check in details. But if these are covered well, everything, let's say 95%, you got everything right. So make sure to check first scope, mandatory relationships, soft relationships, schedule log, source utilization, and the high total float. Last but not least, is the schedule is not too much constrained by meaning there is no lot of, st of constraints on the activities here and if it is then a reason should be provided and should be noted and commented to all the key stakeholders.